Hi, I'm Luann Sims, and welcome to Life After Baby on 1520 AM WCAG and streaming live on WCAG1520.com. From bottles to books, spit up to social media, diapers to dorms, and everything in between, each week I interview parenting experts. Today's guest is Kelly Lammy, the founder and one of the administrators behind the Facebook parenting group Mom Advice. She is a married mom of six sons aged 9 to 31, one of which is special needs. She is also a new grandmom to a one-year-old girl. Her professional background includes the medical field and Montessori teaching. Kelly, thank you for being here with us today. Good morning, Luann. Thank you for having us. I am exhausted just reading your bio because (laughs) separate from mom advice, you have a lot going on. Six sons. We do. With a very wide range of ages. We do. They are 9, 10, 19, 23, 28, and 31. Wow. Okay. (laughs) And you have a special needs son, which has a whole other level of uh, responsibility for you and things to look out for. And you have a new granddaughter? I do. She's a year old, so we're enjoying her. The only little bit of pink we have. (laughs) (laughs) Well, congratulations on that. That is, um, so you're doing the Elementary, you still have an elementary school? We have two in elementary. You have two in elementary and a grandparent at the same time. Right, and one in college. So we're doing college to infant right now. Uh, Unbelievable. (laughs) I no longer feel like I have any right to be tired (laughs) or mentally drained or anything. You are doing a lot. Um, But you also have founded this wonderful resource for mothers or fathers. I guess, is is it? That's a good good question. Just women. Just women. And mom advice. Yes. So it's a Facebook group. It is. And do you want to give us an overview of, of what its mission is? Uh, what it started out to be and what it's become are l- a little different. Okay. Um, it started out, I, I basically was found myself in a part of my life where I was struggling. I was 40. I had a new baby. Um, a year later, uh, well, four months later, I should say, I got a uh, surprise when my nephew was dropped on my lap. Um, and we've since adopted him, but he came with special needs and we weren't prepared. Right. Right? I didn't know how to deal with him. I didn't know what to do. I found most of my friends were in very different spots than I was. Here I was, 40, starting over. Um, with little kids and none of my friends had little kids anymore so I said I'm gonna start this group Um, we'd pulled a lot of questions that people would put on the yard sale sites okay and I said I'm just gonna start our own thing and connect with other moms that were in that you know learning phase again so I put it out there and the first I'd say six months we probably had a thousand people and now we're up to about 12,000. Which just blows my mind. Yeah. Because little, there are a lot of a moms, overwhelming. moms groups out there or parenting groups out there, but 12,000 people is a lot of local moms. We are local. We're predominantly local. Um, I did, in doing research to just get our numbers straight, we, um, we have every state accounted for. We wow. have members in every state. We have three countries. Really? As well. Yeah. We have three countries represented as well. Um, and pretty much our biggest, you know, Chester County is our big hub. Uh, that's where the most of our, our right. members come from. But everybody knows somebody. Right. So they right. Add, and what's nice with our group is that we vet each request. Okay. So we take the time to pull their Facebook, to look through some of their posts, um, just to make sure that they're all legit, real, you know, real moms and real women. Okay. Um, And then we accept them into the group. So everybody kind of knows somebody or is interconnected or they have a story or... Or they've been verified in some way by one of the administrators or something. Right, which makes our group kind of safe. Yes. You know, it makes it kind of a safe group. And um, we add people as quick as we can, but we have about 2,000 pending requests right now. What? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's a lot of work, just that screening process, seeing yeah. if they have a connection to the group and who they are and what they're, wow. It takes a while. We try to do about 20 a day. Facebook every once in a while comes in and does a wash where if people aren't active, they boot them out. 
Oh, is that I right? Guess, apparently. Okay. I just recently found this out because some of the members were like, did you boot me out of the group? Why did you boot me out of the group? And I said, I didn't do it. So I sent Facebook a little message and they're like, well, you know, and some of the big gr- you know, groups will get rid of inactive participants. Okay. I said, oh, well. What yeah. about my closet monetizers right. <laughs> that just like to scroll the page? Right. right. So. Oh wow. So so everything that's posted on there is is private to those who are in the group. In correct. The group. Yes. So if you're not part of the group, you cannot find what people are posting. Right. And read about it. Right. Okay. Well, um, I have been following the group for a few <laughs> months now, and I am just in awe of the number of members you have the breadth of topics that come up on a daily basis. The I have it's the the most active group. I'm not saying I'm a huge Facebook group person, but it's the most active Facebook group I have ever encountered. And just the sheer volume um, and number of questions covering such a range of topics. Um, so why don't you give us, can you give us a little overview of what kinds of conversations take place there? So it was interesting. We have approximately 4,000 posts that come in a month. 4,000 posts. 4,000 posts that come in a month. We have about 49 to 50,000 comments a month. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, our interaction rate, we have about 63,000 likes or reactions every 28 days. Oh, my goodness. So it's a, it's a busy site. Um, topics can range from any given day, you just never know what you're going to get. Yeah. We It'll be a pregnancy test picture, do you think I'm pregnant, right. versus, you know, a, a pet issue or a community issue. We're very big on supporting local, um, helping with community causes. So we have, we have the, such a large range of every topic. That's what I find interesting because my kids are, are 12 and 14, so I'm out of the baby stage and the toddler stage where you have those issues. Right. But there is still a lot of relevant conversation to a parent with middle school and high school kids. Right. Or a parent with grown kids. I mean, sure. there are, like you sure. said, issues about pets or anything that could really impact a woman or a family or someone just trying to um, to get through life, right? <laughs> we do. We have grandmoms on that site. Uh, love our grandmas. They have lots of good advice. Um, you know, vaping is huge right now. So right. we just had a post last night about vaping that brings in the kids with in the parents with college age children and right. things like that. So I think we have a little bit of everything to offer people. Yeah, absolutely. Which keeps it interesting. Are there rules? Are there do's and don'ts for posting on the page? We do. I don't like to use the term rules because I think it it turns people off a lot. I like the word boundaries. I try to set up fair boundaries so that everybody's comfortable in the group. Um, I'm huge on respect. I don't want people to come into our group and be disrespectful to somebody else. The biggest thing in groups this large that people don't realize is that everybody has a different opinion. Mm -hmm. And it's just that. It may not be targeted at you. It may not be targeted at this person. It's their own personal opinion, and they're entitled to that. And it may not agree with your opinion, and that's okay. Yeah. So I try with our admins, We, if we see something come up, we talk to each other about it real quick and say, hey, do you think this is going to go bad? Somebody's better right. watch this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so one of us is always watching <laughs> what we call trigger posts. Yeah. Um, I think we, I think we're pretty out there with what we expect out of our group. Um, I don't expect people to come in and and be rude and disrespectful and, um, you know, bully people. Right. I'm I'm just not about it. I I try to get everybody to be ladylike and, (laughs) you know, respectful. Civil. Civil. Do you think most people who post are looking for validation or do you think they are open to maybe differing opinions? I'm thinking of one post, and I don't want to reveal anything that anybody intended to be private, but it was a post where a mother had a scenario of something that happened to her son and and said, am I crazy? Which seems to be a theme, I think, that, you know, a lot of times people want to be validated. Am I, am I off my rocker here to be worried about this? And almost all of the responses were, yeah, I think you're overreacting. And I thought, hmm, is that... 
will that parent now stop and reconsider her feelings or her stance on this? Or is she going to be angry and leave the group because and it, some she are. wasn't? Yeah. Truthfully, it goes both ways. Some in a post like that are exactly like that. And they'll be like, this, they're so mean to me and I'm leaving. Boom. And out they, they go. Um, but then there's the other ones that will message me afterwards and say, I didn't think about that. And I'm really thankful for everybody's advice because it made me stop and think, hey, there is another side. Right. You know, maybe I should reconsider. Um, I would say in that scenario, it's about half and half. You okay. get half that are, get angry and upset. But when we watch the posts, there's also some of those people that I will reach out to privately and say, hey, this is a new mom. Okay. Or, you know, this is a mom that doesn't have any support. So it's not a silly question. Or right. they're not just... You right. know, crazy. They're they're really trying to figure out, hey, what do I do in this scenario? Because I'm learning and I'm I'm new to the parenting world and I haven't experienced this before. Right. So maybe craft your response in a in a kinder and a gentler package, even if you right. disagree. Yeah. Um I've noticed that one of the things that happens frequently are or that you and the other administrators do private postings for members. Lots. So that is for people who don't want to be identified, but yes. they want their question out there. Yeah. And so what do how do people do that? They just send you a message privately? They'll send us, one of the admins, the message, um, and then we post on their behalf. I didn't realize the first year of doing it, I didn't realize that everybody thought all the private posts were mine. Oh, no. <laughs> So oh, yeah. that became a problem. When you would have quite a life, let I me did. tell you. <laughs> and I said, oh, my gosh, no wonder where my husband and I aren't getting invited anywhere. <laughs> they think we're nuts. Right. Um, but it, it it gives them a little bit of protection. Right. Uh, because people they don't feel like people are attacking them or saying things to them. Right. So it, it works out. Yeah. For the most part, it works out. And then there's we can help them behind the scenes as well. Right. Answer okay. things and navigate through the post. Give them resources yeah. and things like that. So the ones I've seen along those lines might be a problem with your marriage or right. even something with your child that you don't want to be public even within this community of right. of people or health issues or uh, mental health issues or... Right. Um, because you have to remember, even though we're a closed group, Facebook is Facebook. Right. It's a, it's a social media forum just like any other ones. And... When you put something out there, it's out there. Yes. yes. Whether it's screenshotted to your next door neighbor right. or whether it's kept private, which right. we're very big on trying to keep things private. We will remove people from the group that screenshot and take things out of the group. Okay. Um, but sometimes it's done in a way where the person is trying to help. So they'll screenshot something and say, hey, do you know that, you know, this is what so-and-so said in the group and I'm really concerned for them or Whatever their reasoning is, they are trying to really help. But um, I always tell people, if you're not sure, ask us to post it for you. Right, right. And then you maintain your, your privacy, your confidentiality. Right. Excellent. Right. Well, I could talk to you about this all day. But right now we need to pause for a few moments and, uh, and hear some messages. But we will be back with Kelly Lammy, who runs the Mom Advice Facebook group. This is Life After Baby. After Baby, I'm Luann Sims, and I'm here today with Kelly Lammy, who is the founder and administrator of the Facebook group Mom Advice. Before we get back to our conversation with her, I would like to give a shout out to our sponsor, A Taste of Olive, featuring high quality, extra virgin olive oils and balsamics from around the world. They have two locations, one in Chestnut Hill and one right here in Westchester Borough. You can also find them online at atasteofolive.com and you can use the coupon code FAMILY for 10% off your order. So visit them in person or online at atasteofolive.com. So Kelly, I just found out when we took our little break that Mom Advice has 28 subgroups. I believe there's about 28. And vendor pages. Can you tell us a little bit about this? We because do. Because I was unaware. <laughs> we have amazing, I always like to say that we have the most amazing women in our group. Um, we have three vendor, what I call vendor pages. One is for local businesses only. Um, the other one is a handmade vendor page where we have some of the most talented and amazing 
crafters and bakers and artists and photographers. I mean, you name it, you can find it in our page. Um, they ha- they just do everything, and they're amazing. They're wow. they're really an amazing group. We're huge in mom advice on supporting local, so we also have a direct sales page. So the people will pay in to that each month. Okay. Or each well, it's, it's a yearly fee, but it's broken out into the, you know, it's a it's a monthly fee broken out into the year. Okay. Um, and it's all direct sales businesses, because they're they're each little independently owned right small business right. So we have those two pages. Um, we do a shout out month, like every second and fourth Monday. Anybody that's a member, and everybody has to be a member to be in those pages. It's okay. just for our little network of mom advice people. Okay. Um, they put out an ad on every second and fourth Monday on the main page. Okay, so it gets shared them. to the larger group. Yeah, yeah. So it gets their business out there. We'll do a vendor event twice a year where we'll take so many vendors each each show and do a big vendor event. So that's always fun. Is that an in-person vendor event? That's an in-person vendor event. Yeah. Oh. This year it's getting ready to come up November the 10th, I believe. Okay. Uh, Sunday, November 10th at Chesterbrook Academy okay. over on Green Hill Road. So we'll have about 50 vendors Excellent. There. Yeah. And do you need to be a so, member of Mom Advice to participate no, as a vendor? No, you don't. So no. people can sign up to be. Yeah, we offer it to our vendors first, and then if we have slots left open, okay. we open it. We'll put it on our Facebook, uh, our fan page, our Mom Advice fan page. We call it. Okay. And I get a couple. I have a couple outside vendors. We'll try to solicit them to join right. Mom Advice and <laughs> join our there. group. Yeah. Where do I find these other pages? Because, like I said, I am part of Mom Advice, but I had not seen these other pages. So, if you go into our About Bar. Okay. On the main page, it'll bring up a tab that says suggested by admin groups. Okay. And most of them are listed in there. So they're separate groups that are, are affiliated with Mom Advice. Right. Okay. They're, they're smaller. Um, most of them are smaller, and they're specific topics. Got it. So we have a Lyme group. We have a special needs group. Oh, wow. Um, we have a military mom group. We have a yard sale group. We have, um, trying to think of some of the bigger ones, we have a mental health group, we have a uh, fertility and child infant loss group. Oh, so wow. So there's all little subgroups that this are, are smaller. So you can really focus on a topic right. that is, is important to right. you. and Excellent. Right. And this some is... people don't like everything aired in a group of 12,000 people. So right. if you're in a group with 100 people that are all going through the same exact thing that you are, it's a little more personal right. and private. Excellent. Do um, What does it mean for you being an administrator? Do you screen every post before it goes out there? We don't. So the posts go out um, openly. You can post for yourself. But we are pretty much on one of us is on the page watching from about 5 a.m. till midnight. Wow. I started turning my phone off at midnight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but po- people it people are up all day and night. Right, right. So it's not uncommon to get three or four posts at 2 and 3 or 4 in the morning. And I've seen some of the most, some of the most desperate, you feel so bad, somebody who's ill or has a sick child or... You know, something is haunting them in the middle of the night or they can't sleep because they're worried about something. Right. Some of the, um, I think, really important ones come in in the middle of the night. They do. They do. And if I'm being totally honest, I do have a mom advice ping. So if something comes <laughs> in um, through my private messenger and it ping, it'll ping. So I'll leave it. I leave that on. And if, if I get up at 2 o'clock, I do scan you know, oh I don't goodness. tell my husband I do, but I do scan my phone in the middle of the night. Just you look to so see nice and put, something. <laughs> you look very put together, <laughs> showered and clean and healthy and pretty, and I, I am amazed. No, this that is your curly hair. And no, <laughs> I am. I am uh, <laughs> mascara on in the car on the way over. So no. this is a huge. Hot this mess. is an all-consuming uh, thing for you. It has become that. Yeah, to be quite honest, it has become that. The pay is awful. Um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, as most yeah, very right. good, worthy projects. <laughs> There's um, no paycheck, but the reward is great. 
Yeah. So if you, you have to kind of look at it, I, I did add a couple admins, uh, which has helped significantly. Andrea Newhouse Rogers and uh, Maria Delphia okay. are two admins on our page as well. So they share the load with me. Excellent. Which Excellent. helps a lot. Um, and I think, you know, from my observation of the posts I've seen in the short time that I've been a member of the group, I see two um, two main topics. One I already mentioned, validation. People want to know that they're not crazy or that they're not the only one going through something. Right. And second is the need for friendship. You right. know, I, I feel that um, because we are so electronic these days, maybe people aren't getting the same face-to-face -face interaction. So many of us are working that, you know, you might not be with other moms in your neighborhood um, or moms at preschool or in play groups and things like that. And people need friends who are in a similar situation. Do you think that's true? I think as women, we need a connection. That's so big for for women to just have a connection with other women um, and people that understand what you're going through. Because, you know, men don't have that. Right. Hey, bud, how you doing? Right. And off they go. <laughs> right. um, women need that, co that connection. And validation is so important. Everybody needs to feel that their feelings and their thoughts are validated. Um, and I think in our group, people feel comfortable enough to put that stuff out there, and they do get a lot. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes what they're, the feedback they're getting is, you're, you know, you're going over the edge. You right. need to... But we need to hear that, too. Right. And a good friend will say that to you. Right. Just like a good group, a good support group right. on, on mom advice. Right. Um, before we move on to our next segment, if you had one thing, one message you'd like to get across to your group members, what would that be? I think I stress through the group a lot that everybody has a journey. Um, mine may be different than yours. You may not know what mine is. Um, but we all have a journey, and we everybody needs each other. And like you said, in this day and age of, you know, everything's online and everything's electronic, and we don't have that person-to-person -person interaction um, even from my raising my older kids to raising my little kids mm -hmm. now, we used to live in a neighborhood where in the evenings all the moms would hang out right. and all the kids would come over to each each other's houses for lunch and for dinner. And you might have some neighbor kids that were at your house for three days in a row. Right. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> and there, with my two little kids now, there's... Th there isn't that connection with people anymore. Right. Um, everybody's, you know, their kids are in 15 sports and they're working three jobs. And yeah. I think our sense of family has really gotten lost. Right. Um, so I think people kind of get to, you know, they, they join Mom Advice and they stay in Mom Advice to have that connection with people. And there's somebody always up. Yeah. Somebody's always right. awake. Right. Somebody's always available. Somebody will always comment. Right. You know, and a lot of, I get a lot of feedback that a lot of members have made really good friendships through out of the group. I can yeah. see that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, people are always very, very supportive, I right. find. I find. Um, we have, we'll move on to another segment. We call this, It Takes a Village. We don't always have all the answers, which is why we need to help each other out. So we polled some local parents about why online parenting groups are so important, and we see a lot of the same themes that we just spoke about. Danielle said, the simple fact of knowing you're not alone with your challenges, your frustrations, sometimes your victories makes all the difference in the world. And I think we see that. Sometimes women just want to say, hey, my kid's potty trained, or, um, you know, I had this success today, and or look how cute, cute my kid is, right, you know, right. and uh, it's nice to see that. Cindy said, it's nice to have an outlet when you're up at 3 a.m. feeding a newborn. As we know, as you already mentioned, even um, with no infants in the house, right? You're still sometimes up I've, in the middle of I've the night. I've spent many nights with some newborn moms. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Dee said, being a stay-at-home mom, I don't get that adult interaction I was used to when I had a career. Also, having a toddler that needs to be engaged, needs to experiment, needs socialization. It's a great way to start a play date or parent meetup group and connect with other moms. We all need companionship companionship, support, and advice through experience. And I think that is um, very representative of what mom advice does. Um, so we're, we'll do a very quick parent pop quiz. So this is a question for you, Kelly, because you are an experienced mother oh, and now grandmother. We'll spin the wheel. All right. 
and see what you land on. Oh, the wheel is, here we go. You are landing. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> what is the one phrase about parenting that you would ban if you could? I would probably have to say, my mother always told me that it was easier when they got older. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would ban that because she lied. Right. <laughs> uh, it's not easier when they get older. The problems just change. Yes. So you go from, you know, spilled right. milk and everything's a major <laughs> thing to the issues are bigger. The drama is different. Um, I think I would get rid of that because it's just, it's not true. And I am right there with you right now. <laughs> and I long for the days of Play-Doh and waffles right, and Sesame right. Street and all those I'm things that I, a, yes. making little things out of Play-Doh and stepping <laughs> yes. on Lincoln, you know, things Legos. that I thought were hard at the time that I, right, I wish right. we could have back. Well, unfortunately we are out of time, but you have been lovely. Thank you so much for coming on and telling us Thank all about mom me. advice. Um, Facebook groups are not just for moms. We would like to invite local dads to join our Facebook group, Chester County Dads. Thank you for tuning in to Life After Baby. Life After Baby was created by Leslie Hudson, hosted by Luann Sims, and produced by Bree Ezro. And thank you to our guest today, Kelly Lammy from Mom Advice on Facebook. Our theme song is by Doug Keller. We'd like to thank Kelly for joining us today, and we'd like to thank our sponsor, A Taste of Olive. When the kids are finally asleep, visit our website at lifeafterbabyshow.com. Find our podcast wherever the finest podcasts are found and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Life After Baby Show. And don't forget to take care of yourself so you can take better care of them. 